hello guys now the next point is that mechanism of rusting you know that in water the co2 gas is present then it will form the carbonic acid h2co3 h2co3 will broke down and give you what 2h plus plus co3 negative 2 then iron is you know that transition element capable of showing variable valencies it goes and the hydrogen which is released by breaking down of the carbonic acid will enter into the iron with availability of oxygen and it will form the hydrated iron oxide that is known as rust simply we are writing the equation rusting of uh, iron fe plus o2 plus water what it will give you fe 2o3 dot xh2 and uh, we also can write the reaction rusting of copper Cu plus O2 plus H2 O plus CO2. What it will give you? Cu CO3 dot Cu OH but by basic copper carbonates. This is what rusting of copper and rusting of mechanism rusting of iron. And in the if we will discuss the electrolytic cell. In electrolytic cell, that reaction is taking place in the water. Yes, my dear student, electrolytic cell. This is the cells which are uh, electrochemical cell using of chemicals to convert electrical. This is electrical into chemical. Mechanism of aqueous NaCl. This you have done in the 10th standard also. NaCl broke down giving you Na plus plus Cl negative. At anode, electron will be released and can, can coming into the 2 Cl dot. So this is primary change Cl react with another Cl. Dot Cl react with another dot Cl give you Cl2. And at cathode, cathode will give the electron and coming into the sodium metal primary change. Now at cathode is that Na plus the new thing which are introducing here. It gives you Na and its E0 value is minus 2.71. But here my dear student now in plus 2 you have to compare in aqueous solution. What is thing is that mechanism of NaCl in aqueous solution. Our topic is that actually electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride. Electrolysis of aqueous NaCl. Means of that breakdown of NaCl in water. So H plus plus electron, it will give you what? Half H2 gaseous and its E0 value is 0.00 volt, it's 2.7 volt. Whereas with the at uh, anode, then you see that chlorine will release the electron and coming into the Cl2. dot cl form and dot cl react with another dot cl and it will giving you finally half cl2 and its e0 value is what 1.36 volt and two hydroxide ions release and they will convert coming into the h2o with plus half o2 with two electrons and uh, hydrogen e0 this oh oxygen e0 value is coming is what that is the 1.23 here i would like to share you the trick now is saying that writing of these reactions at cathode and anode what is the meaning of this one here i will give you one formula earlier i has given you loan now this is chal means of that at cathode that species will deposit whose e naught value is high and at anode that value that species will deposit whose e naught value is low by concerning these principle at uh, cathode you are watching sodium will deposit it no hydrogen will deposit because it's zero and that is minus but according to this anode that is deposit is low at low if we are watching so oxygen will be deposited because its e naught value is less but thus this is the point which i would like to share you this oxygen will not deposited due to the 
bubble voltage. That's what I would like to tell you. Now the overall action, sodium chloride is broken down in the water, Na plus plus Cl minus what we are getting. And at a cathode, H2O liquid water electron shaft gives you half H2 and OH negative aqueous and at anode that Cl negative aqueous will give you half Cl2 plus electron. The thing which we are getting the unexpected result because I will give you the formula Chal and in according to Chal cathode at cathode that species will deposit OZ node value is greater and at anode that will deposit E node value is less. Now the reaction which I have written on the last page if we see the E node value in that case oxygen is less but we are getting choline why that is called the bubble voltage or uh, that is called over voltage what is this this is what because liberation of oxygen liberation of oxygen is kinetically slow reaction means that one student is uh, slow not good learner like me like you we can take an example so that required extra potential if one student getting one slap to learn the reaction one student getting 10 slap by birth so what extra potential is required for that student that's what happening here in the oxygen it required over voltage extra potential to release that is known as bubble voltage so the reaction with lower e node value should be preferred at the anode this unexpected result is due to the account of over potential of oxygen this is preferred the unexpected result obtained on electrolyte effect of cylinder can be explained on the over voltage bubble voltage i told you so in case of nacl need greater voltage for oxidation of oxygen than oxygen of choline to this one is the means of that that is kinetically slow reaction it might be asked that what is bubble voltage so this is the reaction and it will give you the value of e naught so that's why you can do thank you very much this electrochemistry is complete we will meet in the next chapter chemical kinetics till then goodbye